What is good? Welcome back to the Pop Off Podcast. I'm Ralph Campiano, and I'm your host. And today is a conversation show about the best songs of the year 2022. I am so excited to be doing this draft today. It's our first song draft in quite some time outside of a Christmas music song draft, which kind of came and went because, you know, Christmas only lasts for like a week and we were kind of late on it. But I am joined as always by my two song draft consigliaries, Jack Turner, a.k.a. Run It Back Jones, a.k.a. the co-host of the Rent Money podcast and Skylar Reesberg as well. Always a must on these song drafts. Boys, how are we feeling about this song draft? Mm-hmm. Too. Great year for music coming in, chilling, feeling like a fat cat with all the options to choose from. Mm. Uh, happy to run through 2020, 2022 and kind of what made it such a great year of music and the songs that really stood out to me. Yeah, I'm excited to see what those songs are. Just kind of run it back, see what was good, see if there are any lost gems I forgot about. Have a good combo with you guys. Let's go. So we have our big three, we have our core, and in addition to the KG, Paul Pierce, Ray Allen combo that we got. We had to bring in our Rondo, the Rondo of the Pop-Off podcast. Bordy B, a.k.a. Gorgi D, a.k.a. Nick Border now, repping the Bordy's hoodie. Bordy, your first first song draft, correct? I mean, I know you wanted to be on the future one. You, you, you didn't make the cut on it. Uh, are you coming in bitter to this one, or are you, you feeling pretty excited about uh, joining this conversation with us? Coming in locked in, ready to kick your guys' ass in the song draft. Oh, you're coming uh, in competitive. <laughs> maybe get a promo off, but... uh. No, no intro needed, man. I'm fucking, you heard about me. <laughs> you heard about me? Okay, so that's the energy we're coming with. Okay, so we have five categories today. And we've, I think the most we've ever done is 10 categories with future. We probably won't go back to that for a while. Um, but we'll have 20 songs drafted today. The five categories are, we have banger, which is just your prototypical. If you get the Bluetooth, if you get the aux, what are you going to put on? What do you want to get people going? It's 1115. You're still at the pregame and you just need to get something going and get people ready to go out. Um, we have our sad track, also self-explanatory. What's going to put you in your box? Our best feature, which I think is an interesting conversation because a lot of good features last year, especially when features are becoming more and more popular to get you know different artists to blow up. And then we have wild card, which we always have. So just whatever you want in that specific category to sneak an extra song in there. And then for our last category, we have TikTok slash viral. So a song that probably wouldn't have gained as much attention in 2019, but was able to get to the masses via TikTok. Think of like Munch by Ice Spice is probably the prototypical pick for that. I'm not sure if any of us are going to go that direction. Um, I don't want to count you guys out or anything like that as Ice Spice fans. Bordy's a sneaky Ice Spice sneak, uh, fan, but we'll see where that goes. But yeah, those are the five categories. And the draft order is, I just sent it into you guys. I already forgot it. Skylar Reesberg, you have the first yep. pick. Bordy has the second pick. Turner has the third pick. I have the fourth pick at the turn, and it is a snake draft, so I will have the first pick of the second round since I have the last pick of the first round. Before we get into it, do we have any final thoughts on 2022 as a year of music? A lot of big artists dropped. Kendrick Lamar, Drake twice. I mean, it was just kind of one of those years where it was like, I don't know. I didn't expect Drake to drop twice in one year. I definitely didn't expect Kendrick to drop. Um, but what's kind of the thing that stuck out to you guys about 2022 as a whole as far as music is concerned? Well, personally, what stuck out is 2022, another year, uh, another year of no Frank album. So that's my biggest takeaway. Uh, any Frank singles? I don't even think we had a single from him. No, I don't know if we not not even too. a sighting. Not even a sighting. He didn't even go out in public once. No, <laughs> nobody knows. He, no, he is. came out. He came out with that cock ring, didn't he? Yeah, he dropped some jewelry. So he had a cock ring. Uh, he has the, <laughs> the, the, the Homer line. There, there is a uh, maybe Drake Drake's first Frank Ocean reference on. Um, her loss that was pretty tight but yeah outside of that no Frankie Turner what about you what stood up what stood out to you was it the Uzi project it really wasn't it was probably like three albums I'm thinking of looking at my year-end top 100 that Spotify puts together that almost every single song on that album uh, was within the top 100 so at least three albums kind of define my 2022 list I think it was Dawn by the weekend which came out early in 2022 yep and then we had It's Almost Dry by Pusha T. And then another one that kind of ran my summer was uh, Ramona Park, Broke My Heart by Vince Staples. Mm-hmm. So 2022 in a capsule for three albums that I would just highlight that made up a lot of my listening would be those three. All right. Breesberg, you are officially on the clock. Let's get this draft fucking rolling. I will interject the songs into the podcast itself, and we'll see how long they can last 
on Spotify. Spotify, do not ban us. We just like to make a good product for our listeners. We love you, Spotify. But let's fucking do this shit, dude. I'm fired up. Go ahead, Berg. Yeah, let's keep the energy fired up and let's go something from the banger, banger category. And I'm probably going to drop the biggest banger of 2022. London, Bia. Oh, my God. Rack it up. I love that song. I think this dropped after Bia had some success with whatever her first song was. A whole lot of money in this motherfucker. Yes. Oh, my God. And then this kind of took a little bit to grow on me in 2022. But once it did, it was popping like popcorn and Mm. probably played it every time before I went out. Such a fun music video, too. We can't sleep on the music yes. video. It has the cool camera trick where like it's going from uh, an upper right angle to a lower left angle really quick, and it's just very snappy. They're using a robot arm to shoot it. Uh, yeah, be a man. I mean, yeah, I and I'd like, like to think to shopping them all. Mm, I'd like to think that was all Bia's choice. You know, she had all the creative choice there. I'm not usually a big J. Cole guy, like by any means at all, but I thought he came and killed that too. He got me hyped. I I liked his verse at first, but it's like I don't know when an artist is like in, in their bag so deep. I'm like, just give me more, and I just wanted more be on it. But hey, I did not see you go in this direction. I think it's a great no. first pick. I did not expect to be the first overall pick for be to be number one. But all right, let me, let me jot this down. Totally fair. Sheet up. All right. Uh, do we have Bordy on the clock now? Yep. All right. Bordy I'm on the clock. Waiting. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. I am going to go in the feature category. And much like every Ooh. year, this year of features was dominated by the sixth god himself, mm-hmm. Drizzy Drake, king of rap. Probably the number one streaming rapper, I think. But I'd have Easily. to look that up. And uh, it's off Future's album, I Never Liked You. And it's I'm On One featuring Drake. Oh. I'm On One. That's just gonna cut in nice. Yeah, that's gonna cut in fire. But uh, the first two minutes of the song, Future, just doing his thing, you know, just kind of getting you hyped up. And uh, the Drake verse comes on and he just flows and flows and can't stop the man. Like you said, nonstop. There's just bar after bar. So that's the one where he goes, um, bust down, Thadiana, bust yeah, down, but- Thadiana, bust down, Thadi, what a bust with down. A bust down. All I, I know thought... left hand, left <laughs> hand, right, or whatever he goes. That's just crazy. Make that as jet ski. I thought that she was so corny at first, and then I just listened to it time and time again, and I'm like, God damn it, dude. It's just, like, at some point, Drake becomes an algorithm where, like, everything he does is correct, and it's just, <laughs> he made something that could have been so cheesy, like, actually, like, attractive, and I think that's yeah. probably just who Drake is. Um, makes me want to throw my big boardy ass around. <laughs> All right, Turner, you're on the clock. Yeah, I'm going to take a few liberties with mine, but also going to go feature. And to me, if you are on somebody else's album and it's their album and you're on the song, it could be like a with or not. It's still a feature. And so I'm going to go off of Metro Boomin's album uh, in the viral TikTok category and just take Superhero off the rip. Ooh, okay. Uh, just first of all, I don't know how Metro does it but he has like you know five or six different tags and he somehow picks the perfect tag for every song like it's the one that fits the best he knows what he's doing and then this is the viral aspect here is just this song i feel like has been cut up now to like every athlete for the last month with some kind of just highlight reel of them showing out and so superhero gets me excited every time one of my favorite albums it's essentially my intro because when i run through this album i usually skip the john legend one and just go straight to superhero oh yeah 100 um, percent. yeah one of my favorite songs i wanted to have it insane trumpets on it it's just like all right here we go you it's the, very like national anthem yeah you get the chris brown outro too which i think is kind of like ironic he's talking about kind of being the villain a little bit and yeah. he sounds good but he's also like kind of looking for some love but it's like no chris brown like you are kind of like the villain you You've steady been. And uh, I just think that's kind of a funny outro, too. Chris Brown in the year of 2022. That's crazy. He's still I know going. he is the villain, but he is still getting love. Like he's, he's going he's on 20 years villain. in the game, probably. He's 100%. still touring big, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's got a loyal oh, yeah. fan base. Like, they, you know, 
they went through a lot of adversity there for a little bit. And <laughs> I think that he's kind of overcame it a little bit. Like he had a, um, a collab project with young thug. That's surprisingly good. I love a uh, bumped her head off of that project. Um, all right. I got... the yard actually came up in dinner discussion tonight. So <laughs> that could have been Chris Brown's peak. I think it was. That was when he was at the top of his game. Yeah. Well, he, well, how old was he? I mean, he popped up on the scene early. He has like, like kind of like, 20 probably. Yeah. Um, okay, I have two back to back picks. I think the thing that you guys are all probably all thinking is how many Drake tracks can I possibly draft? Um, so I'm actually going to go in a different direction for my first pick, and I'm going to go in the TikTok category, and I'm going to take arguably my favorite song of the year. I think. Damn you. Um, I'm going to take know. No Stylist by Destroy Lonely. Uh, just one of those songs where it's like I never got tired of it, and I still haven't gotten tired of it. And I think that to see this new so like when i think of like the evolution of trap you think of like future future amigos young thug and then you got little baby and gunna and now there's almost like a um electro trap that's kind of surged with yeet ken carson and destroy lonely and i'm a huge fan of it it's like adhd music like it's just something i can put on in the background it's something i can bang out to um and just have a blast with so i was happy to see it blow up cool to see lonely get a, a lot of clout our buddy blong put me on with him like three years ago because he just always is three years ahead of the curve for some reason and i was like this guy's all right and i think he kind of hit his peak this year and i'd like to see him produce at the same level um so i'll take that in tiktok fuck i knew you'd take that was it that predictable uh I, for me personally it was like the only tiktok song on my board <laughs> I have. A that's point. why i cheated it kind of the viral route i guess I mean, I was between that and no spoilers, but I was in between that and Freaky T because Freaky T has been blowing up recently, and that's been pretty cool to see. Um, and also Out the Way by Ye was on my board, but I don't know. Um, okay, I'm going to – I got I to gotta take a Drake song here. I'm just going to go with my favorite sad track of the year. Um, I loved Honestly Nevermind, and I think there are a lot of great songs on it. I can play Falling Back and get groovy to it. Um, sticky, just like your prototypical Drake track. Jimmy Cooks is obvious, obviously one of the bigger songs of the year. But my favorite song on Honestly Never Mind is uh, Liability, the second to last track. It's Drake, Chop Not Slopped, and it's just a song that got me through a lot this year. I absolutely loved it. It was one of the times where I felt like I could relate to Drake, and that's been few and far between recently because he really just raps about, I don't know, when I hear broke boys, I'm like, yeah, that's awesome. But at the same time, I'm like, fuck, he's kind of talking about me. But when I hear liability, I'm like, this is old school Drake. I can ride with it. I feel you. King will stand together. Just a great track. So I'm taking liability. A recommendation for you. You got to check out the uh, sped up version on SoundCloud where it actually sounds like Drake rapping. So I listen to that song. I'm like, this doesn't even fucking sound like Drake one yep. bit. So somebody sped it up on SoundCloud and you can actually like talent's him it's pretty good i'd like to listen to that version because it's probably better than the one that i did at reesberg's house on the board i sped it up probably like 20 bpm or something like that to try to get it there but i couldn't find the right pitch so i'll have to find that um maybe i can link it in the bio of this episode um all right turn you're back on the clock yep we're gonna go with an artist you mentioned earlier and reesberg said popping like popcorn earlier i'm taking for my banger popping by, by yeet, yeet. Mm. Just an absolute banger. I actually got to go see Yeet this summer in concert. And going into it, I honestly wasn't, I just wasn't as familiar. as Some of the people I was going with were pretty excited, telling me, like, get on the wave. Went to the show, good show. I was like, ah, that's all right. Like, Yeet, okay. And then about, like, three weeks later, it's one of those things. It's just, like, you don't really get it or like it. And then next thing you know, it's just, like, you can't stop listening to it. And that's yep. kind of what popping was for me. And then got into a good little Yeet phase, like you said, just background music kind of just anything music gets you just feeling good yeah that might be the hardest song we draft <laughs> it is from jump street ridiculously hard like it like you wake up to that song and you're a psycho there i saw some fucking video the other day it's like the people that listen to edm first thing in the morning when they're driving to work like i'm better than them and i i was like yeah i feel the same way but i do the same thing with me like it's not that far apart basically the same thing <laughs> All right, Bordy, you are back on the clock with the seventh overall pick. With the seventh pick, I'm going to hit the TikTok category. I'm going to pick Doja by Central C. Mm. <laughs> Out of uh, one of those European countries. I don't know the names of them, but 
Uh, he's I think he's just British. <laughs> twenty twenty two for me was uh, the year of uh, UK drill. Oh yeah. And no matter how bad their uh, lyrics are, they just seem like they're two years ahead of us on beats and just like energy of the songs. That's why Yeet kind of pops off because he, he just hard ass drill beats. But uh, yeah, this song's fire. Somebody tell Dolja Cat. I'm trying to indulge in that. Come on. <laughs> Simple, straight to the point. 2022 Relatable. is also the year of just writing a song about a girl you want to fuck. <laughs> Dua Lipa. We Doja. Doja. We got two Doja songs. Dua Lipa song. <laughs> I'm about to write something to do it. <laughs> I hope it works for you as well as it supposedly worked for Harlow. Um, all right, Berg, you are up. I, I'm going to, so I just got my, I got my banger last time. I'm going to set the tone to a sad, somber, uh, but beautiful portrayal of beauty. And I'm going to go with <laughs> special. <laughs> with what? Sorry. Special. Special. special okay. SZA. Yep. That's probably the song that got me in my box the most. There wasn't a lot of sad 2022 music that I was really listening to. I mean, there's the obvious Drake who can get you in a box pretty much. Uh, it, with any one of his albums pretty consistently. So SZA dropping at the end of 22, that was pretty special. So I got to go with special. Uh, give it a listen and in, in, uh, preferably by yourself in the car on the way to work at like six in the morning. Make you feel good. I think at the time from work. recording, um, SOS is like four weeks top of the boards too. Yep. So I've, it's it's getting a lot of play. She's completely and It's a really good album. Me. It deserves it. Yep. That song broke me the first time I listened to it, and I don't think I've really listened to it much since then because I'm afraid of the scars that it might ensue on me. Um, Berg, you actually have two picks in a row, so you were back up on the board. Oh, no. Okay. Well, if that's the case, then I'm going to surprise myself here, and I'm <laughs> going to go not prepared? wild. Card. No, I'm prepared. <laughs> I'm prepared. But it's just reviewing my year of 2022 in music. Um. I don't know. Sometimes you just forget what songs came out when they did. I'm going to go wild card here. I'm going to go with a Benny the Butcher song. Mm. Uh, and Johnny P's Caddy. I always forget the name of it. Yep. Johnny P's Caddy, another J. Cole feature. And yeah, that song just so fuck. For somebody who doesn't like J. Cole that much, you got two J. Cole tracks on your board. <laughs> I know. I think something happened when Dreamville became popular and I listened to Under the Sun. Things have changed since then. I'm yeah, happy for you. The dreamers uh, are good. Jake Cole's always came hard on features too, though. Have you yeah, ever thought honestly, about a... he's, better on, he's better on other people's tracks at times. I think it's just since he got the dreadlocks and he grew those out. Like he's just really, his pen game has grown with his dreads. It's been cool to it's see. Since he, picked up the ball, since he picked up the ball again. Facts. And he got his own Puma shoe. Um, all right, Bordy, you're back on the clock. Shit, Bordy's back on the clock. We're going to switch it up a little bit. Uh, Bordy's talking I don't know if we, got any, uh, we ain't got any good old country boys in the podcast here, but I'm sure some of the Bunkhouse boys will appreciate this. Or not. They like more uh, indie country music. I'm going to go Morgan Wallen, Broadway Girls, featuring Lil Durk. All right. If it's the Durkio track, then hell yeah, dude. Oh. Yeah, that shit goes fucking hard. Rip this beer can I think the part or the version with probably uh, did. It's just it's dirty. crazy how time moves. Just pretend it did if it didn't. I mean, that feels like <laughs> forever ago. That probably came out January first of twenty twenty two. We should we should have just did a whole COVID draft. Just covered everything. I'm double checking right now to see if it was released in 2022. I got a backup <laughs> if I fucked up. It was released December seventeenth, twenty 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 one. Shit. Oh, we can we'll let it slide. We can let that slide. December seventeenth. Yeah. That's two weeks that's before twenty twenty two. It needed two weeks. Two weeks to settle with everybody. I'll I pick a new one because the original version probably hey, came out six months before that. You get two. So, uh, wild card, middle of the ocean by Drake. Okay. Switch. You're you're a fucking prick. Take, you should have just taken Broadway. Take well, you should have let me. <laughs> well, I had to fact check. I mean, that ruins yeah. the integrity of the draft. Fucking, it was two weeks off. That's my bad. All right, middle of the ocean, wild card. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think it's probably my favorite instance of 
strictly wrapping, no hook streak. It's either that or 4 p.m. in Calabasas because he did the plot twist thing on the project where 3 a.m. on Glenwood was supposed to be the time and location track, but he gave it to 21 and it said middle of the ocean is that. And I mean, short rigatoni with the pesto, just one of my favorite bars of the year. So simple. I love when Drake, like Drake did his black salmon impression on this track. And it's just like, he's starting to rap about cuisines and expensive things that I'll never hear of. And then he's also like insulting people and their favorite trends, like Lamborghini Urises and Mike Amiri jeans. And it's like, all right, dude, we get it. You're better than all of us. Fuck me. This song, you can just close your eyes and pretend you're rich. And, and get, a, get a little relief from the day to day top nine beat switch of all time i mean that thing the first time i heard it i was like <laughs> half baked and i was freaking the fuck out i was like they did not top just nine <laughs> top nine i did my best bill simmons impression there um all right number 11 overall pick we're going to turner yeah for this one probably my favorite beat of the year a song that i don't know if there's ever my top three songs but might have never left my top 10 just in terms of enjoy listening to it couldn't get sick of it um hotel lobby quavo and takeoff mm. good pick r.i.p takeoff this song was just r.i.p rip and then the album's underlooked the album's pretty good the follow-up takeoff quavo album there's some gems on there so if you haven't checked that one out just give it a run through maybe you'll find a couple that you'll uh save away for later but um hotel lobby last great takeoff song what what category did you draft that in? <laughs> Last great takeoff song. <laughs> it really was. Or, it was. Or rest, know, rest in peace, PNB Rock as well. Rip PNB Rock, no you. doubt. Who who uh, else did we lose? Uh, we lost one more big name. I'm taking that for banger, banger. You King dropped Von, a, my you dropped this year. Poppin and banger. Okay. Oh, dad, really? Yeah. You want to put it in a wild card? Oh wait, King Von wasn't 2022. Oh, um, yeah, that was probably last year. Was Dolph 2022? Yes. Yeah, I think Dolph died this year. All right, this move, pop, move pop into yeah, TikTok Dolph. viral. Oh, you drafted super. Around? You drafted superhero in TikTok viral. Yeah, but move that. Move that one. To, move that one to feature on Metro okay. Boomin's album. Okay. Wow. So now I got to do a bunch of doctoring. Jesus. All right. We're moving shit. Uh, Turner I'm is filling out a lineup, Bordy. I'm drafting the players and I'm making them work. Okay, so at least it was a song for 22. <laughs> superhero for feature, popping for TikTok, <laughs> um, and hotel lobby for banger. Okay, I got it. I got it. All right, and those are your only three picks thus far. All right. Okay, I got back to back picks. Um, <laughs> thanks for making those accommodations, Ralph. <laughs> anything for you, dude. You know, I probably wouldn't have done it for you know the fourth person on these pods, aka Bordy, but I'll do anything for uh the core three here. Um, okay, I'm going to go with my favorite banger of the year, and Turner knows this all too well. Um, just the fact that this guy says at one point on the song, she's sucking me and fucking me until she's out of her mind. I'm taking Glock in my purse by Lil <laughs> Uzi Bird. <laughs> Just an absolute slapper, dude. Love the project. So much fun. And I mean, Uzi could do no wrong on this song. It's such a stupid song when you really look at the lyrics. It's like, no, this is not a purse. It looks more like a bag. If it had two straps, you would call it backpack. And it's just like, he's saying the most nonsensical shit. And it doesn't matter because I'm having fun listening to it. So Glock in my purse is my bang. Fun song. Uzi makes fun songs. Okay. And then my other pick, I'm going to, I'm, fuck. All right, so what are the categories do I have left? I have wild card left and feature. Oh, this is so tough. I'll just be transparent. I am in between two songs for wild card right now. Um, my favorite song off of Her Loss, which is Hours in Silence, uh, just makes me very, very happy. I think I listen to it 15 times a day. And a song that I don't listen to as much, but that I love for totally different reasons, which is Ghost in the Machine by SZA and Phoebe. And I don't have any Drake on my board yet. And, I mean, what would I do if I did? I do have Drake on my board. I have liability. I fucking lied. I'm still going to take Hours in Silence. I love Hours in Silence. I listen to it too much not to take it. Um, When 21 comes in, and he just has, like, this very subtle auto-tune on his voice, and he starts singing, I think a lot of people kind of think it's, I don't know, him trying to do his best Drake impression. I think he's doing his best 21 just in his bag impression. And I think it's lovely. So I'm taking that. I don't know if a lot of people love this song as much as I do, but I can't get enough of it, dude. I, I literally will not stop listening to it. I've listened to it 
I slowed down the BPM, I sped up the BPM, and I listened to all three versions at least once a day, probably three or four times a day. Good pick. Am I wrong I mean, for I, not getting some SZA on my board? I don't know. Like, It was a late drop, so it, it's kind of hard. You've probably only listened to it a few times through compared to... Oh, no, I listen to it a, a lot, but I definitely haven't listened to it as much as her loss. Yeah. Yeah, that's my wild card. When you're doing this um, draft at this time of the year, too, it's like the, some of the early songs, you've had more time to sit with them and then also have them age out of your rotation versus right. some songs that just dropped are still peak and maybe they won't have as much longevity either within your, I don't know, your cycle. That's a great point because, yeah, if we would have done this draft uh, in August, September, I probably would have drafted Falling, ba Falling Back by Drake because I was just so into that song. And now it's like, I still like that song, but I just don't listen to it every day anymore. Um, all right, number 14, we're back to Turner. Yeah, I'm nice. going to go a little outside of some of the rap music and go with Running Around by Goth Babe. One of my favorite artists, he just makes beachy, like airy, nice music that I can just really listen to a lot. And just all of his catalog gets a lot of replay value for me. And then it also, I kind of just love throwing on his radio and just kind of listening to that style of music. So I'd be remiss if I didn't throw um, Running Around, which is probably my favorite song by him this year on there. And that's a wild card. And that is in my wild card, correct. Okay. I'm not familiar with the song. I'm excited to listen to it. It's probably going to be a little mix up between a lot of the rap music, but it's definitely just upbeat, easy listen. I don't know. It'd be hard like, not to like the song. You'll have to send me the clip that you want me to clip in to the pod because, yeah, I'm not going to know if you just want me to go from yeah. the street or what. But okay, I'm fired up to hear this. Thank you for putting <laughs> on the audio. Someone called Goth Babe. <laughs> yeah, not my favorite name, honestly. It doesn't really represent <laughs> no, that's, the kind of music. That's cool, listen, dude. Is, but. <laughs> Or he makes, I guess. But you're saying what was on all of our minds. We were all that guy. <laughs> I didn't double check. I'm just surprised that Turner was like, "This guy's name is Goth Babe." I'm gonna give one of his songs a spin. Did somebody put you on to Goth Babe? Do you want to plug somebody? Um, I don't know if anyone Goth. really put me put me on, but he definitely has like a core following. I'm sure, like he's definitely. And you're a part of that core following. A hundred percent. Okay. And cool. I think that people that are around me could be considered core following by association if i'm playing it enough that's nice you learn something new if you can still learn something new about your best friends that's just a, a treat dude that's so sweet i'm really happy right now for you um okay we're back to Bordy. it looks like with the 15th overall pick all right good transition we'll go from goth babe to uh, my sad track um i'm gonna go with young boy home ain't home featuring rod wave I would be remiss if I oh. left Young Boy off my top five. That's probably dropped right there. Probably dropped six to seven projects this year. <laughs> that you just listen to a few songs, the rest he's just kind of yelling at you. But uh, <laughs> he's gotten out of his record deal. He has his own label now, so things are looking up for Young Boy in 2023. You, Number one you streamed you? YouTube artist. 100 percent, because every dude with a PlayStation Three is just leaving him Huge on when they leave their house. Would you Would you say you've listened to every single one of those songs off those albums at least once, at least one time through? No. He drops 20-song projects. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I literally tap through it, and if he's yelling at me in a way I don't like, I'll just <laughs> move on. And Youngboy also is real popular on TikTok, so yep. you see a lot of his shit pop on there. Another good. I do enjoy on. that Rod Wave feature. Yeah, Rod Wave. Uh, I'm not a big fan of his like standalone albums. Just because he's just a fat dude standing there fucking like, <laughs> thinking like a preacher. Oh, my. I was literally going to say, no way you put that fucking fat preacher on this list. I'm, <laughs> I'm so anti-Rod Wave. It's like no, but every once in a while, every on. once in a while, it just hits you right in the, right in the sweet spot. Hasn't hit me uh, once. Just, <laughs> just like just... dipping your cornbread in some baked beans, baby. <laughs> Give me a little church. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, who, Bordy, who would you say are like young boys – key collaborators is it like Rondo. Rod Wave and him linking up a lot or yeah Quando Rondo I mean it's hard oh, to keep up with because they're homies and then they want to kill each other the next day but uh I think Quando has been his boy for the longest dude I think Quando's always kind of beefing with someone bigger than him yeah that's just kind of that's just kind of the game for some of those guys it's a great strategy <laughs> yeah we should start doing that what, I think what pod should we start beefing with Fucking Barstool, fuck those guys. 
yeah honestly fuck a lot of those guys um let's let's just yeah let's just start beefing with bigger dudes and see if they can get this <laughs> attention um all right berg you got back-to-back picks big dog beefing with bigger dudes 2023 uh sound the alarms sound them this is breaking news i'm changing a pick <laughs> <laughs> no, no 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 you're not you cannot change a pick you I can change to. what you can okay. change what category you put something in you can't change picks if like you're in the nfl draft you can't just be like we don't want aiden hutchinson anymore wait Let's go. Reese, i want to hear right. you out let's give us a pitch yeah us- so i think ralphie you're totally right uh i can't just go and undrafted guy we can't ruin their dreams after you're bringing them into the league but we hard. are going to come back and say that, hey, maybe after some consideration, we didn't really want you. We kind of wanted, we kind of wanted a little West West Side Gun in the wild. Oh. <laughs> Fly God Junior. Once I drafted that Benny Butcher song, I immediately went. I feel like this sounds like a song I like a whole lot better, and it's Fly God Junior. West Side Gun. It probably had the coolest flow of 2022. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it, but I just had to say it. It's not getting drafted, just an honorable mention. I was going to say um, – Clip I think it in, though. I want, I want to hear that shit. Clip there, it in. On the- there could be a Griselda loophole here because mm. you're drafting from the same family. If it was like – I don't know. If you wanted to like take a Drake track instead of a Benny the Butcher track, I would have been like, no. But the fact that it's West Side, like those guys are practically blood. I think they are blood. I think they're literally cousins. I don't know. What that do you think, Turner? Right. Because I get the same vibe from them when I hear them both. I mean, I already m- moved a bunch of things around, so I'll let the man let the I man feel like the integrity of the draft is just crumbling in front of our eyes, though. <laughs> it is. Don't let it happen. You know what? Okay, don't I mean, I'm not going to be on the wrong side of West Side Gun. <laughs> <laughs> but then you're on the wrong side of the Benny the Butcher, so we're let both kind of in a rut here. <laughs> let that shit slide. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, Berg, you still have picks to make. Uh, you yeah, sounded, yeah. So you the, sounded the alarms. The alarms are still up. My ears are still perked. What do you got? The the real pick is I got to get a feature in. And I always feel weird when it just it doesn't say feature on the song and it just lists these two artists. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to draft from someone a little controversial right now. Uh, oh, probably, no. you know, they're always controversial, but 2022 was really a new oh. peak of controversy for them. And I'm just drafting the feature, guys. <laughs> True love, X Tentacion. I think uh, that chorus is going to be feature enough to to draft. So that was, on my, that was on my set track board. I mean, we all thought you were talking about Kanye there, right? I did not think you were talking about X. Well, I was talking about Kanye. Is it is his song. I'm. I don't. <laughs> I honestly, I'm, I missed this song. I think I missed this song. You did not miss this song. This could have been a TikTok viral song. It's just the that true love shouldn't be this complicated. Uh, okay. it's, a, it's a single father's anthem. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I love that shit. I love that shit. But it was on my sad. It was on my sad track. It, that's honestly that that would have been a great sad song choice. Yeah. I just had to get it in. I listened to that song a lot in 2022. You know, I'm not going through hard times, but I think people can understand sad music. Sometimes you just want to evoke that emotion. I, I feel love, like we talk about this every time. Sad is my always my favorite category. I love how you always open up the curtain. You're like, I'm good. Like, I'm, I have a great life. I'm really mm-hmm. happy right now. I'm in love. But sometimes I just like to listen to sad stuff. Like, good for you, dude. Your transparency is really appreciated. Appreciate it. Should we address the fact that uh, Turner just wanted to lie to start this podcast? He wanted to say that we were recording this as of December 30th <laughs> in the group chat. I think we, we should put that out there. We could have until now. No, 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 no. We, we were never going to do that. No, I think I, we should have done that. I was you, fully with it. You guys all wanted to lie to our audience. I think we should have lied to all of you it's and said this was 20, 2022. Sure. I don't think it would enhance anything. I think if anything, it's like you need some time to meditate on this. Like I've already changed my top ten movies around. Like I've I've been thinking about it. It's like, are you becoming start... more and more into lists, Ralph? I've always been into lists. You know hey, this. Yeah, but lately you've been really telling me about your lists a lot. I'm working on I a think list there's right a now. List resurgence. My 100 favorite performances of all time, and it's so hard. Like, where do I put Michael Sarah as Michael Sarah? And this is the end. Versus like Lydia Tarr. Do you? keep notes or like how are you even comparing those it's on letterboxd i just like there's consider it in my mind 
Okay. But like one. So guy there's no criteria. Like, the criteria is how much do I like your performance in a movie? Do you just gut? Do you just gut check your way through the whole thing? I gut check yeah. my way through everything. They're all subjective. Like my, my hundred favorite movies is like something I doctor literally every two days. Like I'm always switching stuff around with it. It's a permanent work in progress, and that's the fun of it. That list will never die. I will have that until the day I die. That's the day that list will die when I die. I think it's a beautiful thing, and it feels like I'm being shamed for it right now. Um, no shame. Okay, Berg, you got another pick. You just took Kanye and XX and Tassio, and how the fuck are you going to top that? Uh, I'm going to top it, one, by we were talking about Chris Brown earlier. I really <laughs> feel like Rihanna might be his biggest fan. But I'm going to draft as it was. That doesn't make for, any sense. What do you mean? For my TikTok. Re- I was re- hoping we could move on from that right away. <laughs> <and> not address <laughs> that at all. <laughs> you just misspoke. You want to correct yourself? I don't think I misspoke because I, I feel like just through the ether or maybe I saw a video and it's just stuck in my subconscious. I feel like I saw her writing for him when I used to be the biggest like maybe you know, they I made up. with Rihanna. Yeah, maybe they made up. I don't know. People make I think up they did the make up. Me and I you think they're going to have a song in 2023. That's my prediction. You and I had a ruffle earlier today and we've already made up and we haven't had to talk about it. It's just something that's like when you're this close. When you're right. this close, did you beat Reesberg up earlier? <laughs> you didn't give him two black eyes, did you? <laughs> no, I, I, I said that we were recording at 9 30 p.m. and he freaked the fuck out on me. He's like, You're being no, sad. All I said was, Hey, guys, I like it early. We, we all do. That was the whole point. It's like, I wish we could record at 11 a.m. Reesberg together in the same room, smoking a joint. Berg, did, you, awesome. did you wake up in between your nap to, to respond to that text? <laughs> no. No, uh, I passed out for about five hours earlier today, and it was probably a stress-induced nap after that whole argument. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry for interrupting you. What song are you selecting? Are you taking a Rihanna song right now? Oh, no, I, I'm taking a Harry Styles song, as it oh. was. Is my TikTok song. Oh, wow. Okay. That's your TikTok Because there's the great line, uh, answer the phone, Harry, you're no good at all. God, I don't know. I don't know. It chills, though. Yeah, chills. you love Harry Styles and those leather pants, don't you, Reesberg? <laughs> I knew this was going to get brought up. <laughs> I, I have no defense. Honestly, I got no defense. <laughs> uh, I don't know how to make the argument that I, I'm not standing with that. I'm just standing with this one particular song. That I, There's always one radio hit from every year that kind of just sticks with you. It's kind of a guilty pleasure. So this is my TikTok viral and also kind of guilty pleasure song. Yeah, this song absolutely rules. I don't. And those leather pants rule too. Yeah, they do. He, I love that he dresses androgynous. Him and Young Thug, no comment. Two, couple of kings. Um, and Burke also loved "Don't Worry, Darling." He had it above "Nope" in his top ten movies of 2022. And I wanted to fucking kill myself when I heard that. I was so <laughs> mad. Um, hey, who was it that was supposed to play uh, Harry Styles originally? Who were they saying? I was uh, reading an article about Shia that. Shia Oh, yeah, that would have been way better. That's right. Would have been 100% that was better. Controversy. Yeah. Um, okay. All right, Bordy, you're back on the clock. Back on the clock. I'm going to make a little switcheroo with my banger pick. I was going to go easy by Kanye in the game, but uh, we can't draft two Kanye songs. One's good enough for that Nazi. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to go a little early in 2022, I think, I hope. Super Gremlin by Kodak Black. Ooh. There you okay. go. So are just we... for at least two months, me and all my friends were gremlins because of this song. <laughs> and there there's no stopping anybody around town. Yeah. When the you gremlins were still eight. Still eight. That, oh, we needed Kodak Black drafted. We need right. another song. Okay. It is I don't know if we're gonna get a song. Got it. Kendrick song drafted, but he had an incredible album and Surprising amount of Kodak on that, and he was good on it too. So did Kodak's Smino. another one. Half the songs are just going to be incoherent, and right? <laughs> the next one is going to be the best song you've ever heard. What category is that, Bordy? Is that your banger? That's I'm ending it with a banger, going out on a Kodak note. When those guys are making songs like that, do they do they know that like a lot of it's just like mid and they ha- have a couple of gems in there do you think they're just throwing shit at the wall and some of it sticks they, they, think, I think, they're just, gonna, they think it's all gonna be so, a hit or they know they're just tossing some garbage with some of these gems i think they're just so goddamn high it all sounds good they're like <laughs> fuck yeah that's it yeah I, 
they think it's all good. Their circle think it's all good. But you ever listen to like those hip hop documentaries or not even documentaries, like little album YouTube hype videos? I feel like they're always saying like, like, yeah, man, we didn't know what one we didn't know was going to pop off like that. Like they're always being humble about it. They're always saying that. I don't know. I didn't know. Yeah. Like when you heard DS2, you didn't think that shit was going to pop off. Like, mm. come on. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a bullshit stance. Okay, Turner, you were back up on the clock. Yep, I only got my sad song left. Um, gonna go to the weekend who can always get you in your box and go, How do I make you love me? <laughs> Upbeat song, but honestly, the lyrics are just cutting deep. Uh, the weekend can just do it better than anybody else. Album's incredible. Don't want it to go underlooked in 2022 because it's only been aging better. Anytime almost any of the songs from this album come on, uh, it's just immediate. Let's go. How He's the biggest superstar in the world. Me. I'm glad we didn't leave Weekend off the list. Yeah, um, very. Yeah, he comes in strong on the beginning of that song too, with that first that first line. Just the way he mm-hmm. says, <laughs> like it's it can really easily be like thought of as a upbeat song, and then it's just classic Weekend. He's just flipping it. Sometimes his slowest songs that sound the saddest are really the ones he's talking his most shit. That could be a banger. I just realized um, I don't have any future on my list. And I'm having like an existential crisis as we speak. This is tough. <laughs> don't you got one more pick? I do. Is it a banger? It's feature. Mm. Oh, this is tough. Future, because... future is one of those guys. Is, is Features are kind of lacking. They're hit or miss. And so I'm going to take a Drake feature. And I'm between two songs. I'm between Wait For You, which yep. was a great song, an awesome Thought song. So. Not my favorite song on that project. My favorite song on that project is I'm That Blank. Mm-hmm. Um, and I didn't take that because I took that on the future draft. I didn't want to be redundant. I wanted to mix it up a little bit. And the other song. What are you I'm drafting for, Ralph? Feature. The other mm. song I'm considering is uh, Churchill Downs. And that's. A oh, song. no. Of Drake no. just rapping his ass off. I fucking yeah. Drake, Drake's verse on that is fucking insane. He goes on him on a pee on a beat. He does hops, and it's like, oh shit! It's like he literally just spit on motherfuckers. I think but, we got a song in 2022, and then maybe just bring it back once a year during the Kentucky Derby. I in <laughs> facts, I in good conscience cannot take a Jack Harlow song over a future song. So I'm gonna take Wait for You, and I think it's the right okay. decision. Um, my yeah, my favorite duo of all time. Drake and Future just coming back for some more. I mean, it's them and Thames. It's them and LeBron and Kyrie. And yeah, the Thames beat. I mean, come on. So, all right. Wait for you is the last pick of the draft. You guys want to throw out some honorable mentions that you guys were considering that didn't make the cut? Turner, do you want to start? Sure. I want to throw out Poland for Viral Song by Lil Yachty. 100%. We blew uh, hilarious up. Hilarious song. It was a clip just turned into a minute 15. That was great. Impala by Young Nudie for Banger. Yep. Probably my favorite rolling around dark out song of the year. Just feeling good. And oh, then oh. sad song would be When Sparks Fly by Vince Staples. This is my number one listen to song of the year uh, on Spotify. And like all great s- sad songs, I feel like eventually you can kind of almost like get hyped up from them at the same time. I mean, that fucking project. It's like, are we going to get just in a, a classic Vince album like five years in a row? Like, he hasn't missed, like, his last three projects. I mean, arguably any of his projects. I'm not the biggest fan of um, what's the radio FM one. FM. That, one's, that one's fun. It's just not, like, yeah. one that I return to a lot. The songs I actually return to on that are two, like, 30-second clips. One is Brand New Tiger Interlude, and then the other one is Earl Sweatshirt Interlude. And neither of them feature Vince, but they're both awesome songs. But When Sparks Fly is a great call, Turner. Um, Bordy Berg, any uh, standouts? I got some. You? I got some for you. Um the whole Kendrick album, great yep. songs yeah. on that. Just, I was listening through it, couldn't find anything worthy of making the top five. Partly because he switches the damn beat so much, it feels like I like half the song and dislike the other half. And uh, I'll give you one more honorable mention. Uh, what happened to Virgil? But little dirt, little dirt got left. Good, good call. Oh, and we forgot the song of the year, probably. Uh, Push and P, <laughs> Young Thug and Gunna. The best marketing go. campaign of the year, no doubt. Yeah. We even mentioned Gunna's album yet either, which was another one that dropped. 2022 was loaded. It was. Yeah, good year. 
what about you berg yeah i got a few honorable mentions i gotta name an album too that smino album that dropped was funky bounce house yes. waves on acid uh that was a good project the scissor one we brought up uh, all of those songs uh fuck there's that f-r-e-e -E, fuck you, you know what i'm talking about i think it's called fnf or something like that like glorilla reese yeah, and his ratchet ass friend <laughs> yeah, I love, you know, yeah we should have had a ratchet ass round i would have drafted that for sure damn we should have had a ratchet ass round <laughs> <Fuck them. laughs> add, it, add it it's not too late to add it <laughs> no, that, that's gonna... my pick <laughs> we got a perfect and then songs. there's got to be one more i'm missing fuck it'll come to me but yeah 2022 solid year amazing year um all right i'm gonna give a quick shout out to my four other favorite tracks on her loss, my favorite project of the year, um, Pussy of Millions. I regret not drafting it. Privileged Rappers, Back Outside Boys, and Jumbo Tron shit popping. And then my other two favorite songs off of SZA's project, Seek and Destroy and Low. Um, and then Falling Back, A Keeper, both of Honestly never mind. No Gasoline this time around. Turner did draft it, I believe, on the weekend draft. So mm -hmm. um, it's definitely in the overall draft archives, which is good. Um, Out the Way by Yeet, probably one of the bigger songs on TikTok this, this year. Um, it's like pull up on a little bitch like your. Uh, and then I think that's all I got. Oh, and I actually want to give a shout out to Shigo Turbo, um, her song Leap, which she sent me the leak to like two months before it dropped. I probably listened to that every day for a while. And I think I put on all the boys with it because it's just a fucking banger. And it's just, don't hype it up. If you ain't going to leave that don't shit make me leave. And then mm -hmm. also dreaming of the past by Pusha and Kanye and neck and wrist by Pusha J. Yeah. Some fucking okay. Thing. That's the song I was forgetting. I'm glad we got that in there. And then my last one, I'm going to say DMB ASAP Rocky. Mm -hmm. uh, that kind of went under the radar. I feel like. Good, good catch. Um, all right, 2022, how are we feeling about it? Do you guys want to run through our drafts really quick just to kind of give you a reminder? Do you guys have them at your disposable, or do you want me to read them off for you? Read them off. All right. Reesberg, with the first overall pick, took London by Bia and J. Cole. With his second pick, he took Special by SZA and Sad, and then he took Johnny P's caddy controversially in Wild Card. <laughs> and then he went down and took... Another controversial track, and he took True Love by Kanye West and XX Tentacion and Feature, and then he took As It Was by Harry Styles. A lot of variety there for you, Berg. Benny the Butcher, SZA, Bia, X, Yay. I mean, this is wild. Harry Styles in that mix? <laughs> A little bit of variety. It's like when your Spotify tells you, like, you were so diverse at the end yep. of the year. But, like, you really weren't. <laughs> No, you definitely were. This is a, a really good list. I think I, you're, you know, you're really good at this stuff, man. And that's why you got to be on every draft. You said it the other day. You're coming for the Beatles draft. You're like, I think I have to be on every single one of them. And, uh, you know, every time you come up, you, you show out. It's a little bit controversial every time. You do something that shakes the game up. But I think this is great. Um, all right, Bordy. You team, selected team I, <sighs> wait, Team Ice Spices Fart Box. Top five. <laughs> Team Ice Spices Fart Box selected I'm On One and Feature by Future and Drake. And then he selected Doja by Central C. And then he selected Middle of the Ocean by Drake. And then he selected Home Ain't Home by Young Boy Never Broke Again. And who's the feature on that? Is there a feature on that? Rod Wave. Rod Wave. Yeah. That's right. Uh, I intentionally forgot him, it looks like. And then he took Super Gremlin by Kodak Black and Banger. Yeah, uh, this is like, I think you had me through the first three picks, and then the last two I kind of dropped off a little bit. I still like Super Gremlin. I'm not going to say I don't, uh, but how do you feel about your draft? You know, I think I had a good draft. I feel like I left some good ones off the board, but that just happens, you know? Yep. Um, Hard to do the game. Yeah, I came into this thinking I could get Broadway girls, but uh, I got no sense of time. <laughs> so, uh Yeah. I'm happy to be here, man. Lots of Drake, lots of future, you know, all the goodies. Or did you think Super Gremlin came out in 2022 too? Just pretend it did if it didn't. It did. It did. I think it did. <laughs> I looked it up. Kodak probably dropped three versions of it on Spotify because he was yacked out. Yeah. <laughs> there is a version that dropped in 2022. So, um, all right. Turner selected Superhero featuring future a very sneaky pick that definitely works because it is on the metro project um and then he selected 
Poppin' and TikTok by Yeet, which is, yeah, just a fucking banger. Turn you after my heart here. And then he selected Hotel Lobby by Quavo and Takeoff, Rip Takeoff. And then he selected Running Around by Goth Babe. Wanted to mix it up a little bit, drop a, drop a little something in that drink. And then he selected How Do I Make You Love Me in Sad Category by The Weeknd. Love it. We left, yeah, we left it all out there. Uh, and I've done it without the team, my AirPods, my speakers. And, you know, looking back on the season, you know, there, you know, there's some things we could have probably done differently here or there, but at the end of the day, we did what was best for us. Uh, and if that comes out as a W, so be it. You came out with aggression, like Kirby Smart. Um, all right, I selected No Stylist by Destroy Lonely in the TikTok category, and I selected Liability by Drake off of Honestly Nevermind and Sad. And then I selected Lock in My Purse and Banger by Lil Uzi Vert. Then I selected Hours in Silence by Drake and 21 Savage and Wild Card. And then I had the last pick of the draft, and I selected Wait for You by Future Drake and Thames and Feature. Um, so I think I got the Drake feature and the Thames feature there. Um, so yeah, this was fun. Another great song draft. I'm curious who our next one is going to be. It looks like it's probably going to be the Beatles, which will be a good change of pace. So that means we're going to have three consecutive drafts without, well, we've done two consecutive drafts without one specific artist, but Bordy raised the idea of expanding the draft category outside of music um, before we jumped on this call. And I just want to get Bergen Turner's thoughts because they are a part of the song draft committee. How would you guys feel about opening ourselves up to things outside of music, whether it be Bordy suggestion was he wanted to have a, a soda pop draft. He wanted to. Yeah. Draft. I was, I was thinking sandwiches. Oh, <laughs> okay. So we're I just want to draft food. food. That's where my head's at. Okay. The food is going to be tough because yeah. I mean, we're going to have to, we're, are we going to do a pasta you draft? draft? You can draft anything. Sandwich draft would be fucking insane. But at, at some point, we become a parody of like the guys on TikTok who are just like doing like the everything drafts and they just go back and forth really, really fast. And it's like, I think we've got a really good niche here with the music draft. Like, they're some of our best performing episodes in all transparency. Um, we have a lot of fun with them. Um, they take a, they're a bitch to edit. It'd be a lot easier to edit a sandwich draft. Uh, <laughs> but I don't know. How, Berg, how do you feel about expanding the draft universe on the Pop Off Pod Network? So when we're talking about sandwiches, I think we're going down a slippery slope here <laughs> of draft, but I, I'm, I'm in. I want to see how far down the rabbit hole we can go, and I, I love the idea. I think Turner just wants a food pod, so that way he can start getting free food. I think that'd actually be a good idea. Do the, uh, the Littman and Jacoby thing. I, I want to draft Italian quotes. Meats. If you just want Italian meats, maybe we can get Top Butcher to sponsor us once you move to Chicago. That would be a plug. Um, oh, all right. Uh, let's get out of here. Thank you guys for tapping in with the Pop-Off Podcast. Um, we will be diving in on a lot of stuff the rest of 2023. We're happy to be here. For Skylar Reesberg, uh, a co-host on Rent Money Basketball Edition. I'm not sure if we have a title for it. For Jack Turner, co-host of Rent Money. And then Nick Bordenero, a.k.a. Bordy B, a co-host of our future podcast that we're really excited about, Breaking Thoughts with Spencer Clark. <laughs> um, <laughs> just could not be more excited for that podcast. <laughs> it's inevitable first episode, which will happen at some point in 2023. We don't know how many episodes we're going to get before we get canceled, but it's going to be soon. We're waiting for the fans to be ready. We're ready. <laughs> we, the world needs to be ready for us. All right. We will see you guys on the other side. Peace out.